Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tori and today I am doing five star predictions. So I actually rank my books on a scale of one to six. Six being um, favorites of the year and then five being good because I like love but not like favorite favorite status if that makes sense. I read a lot of books so this is the best way for me to determine it. So these are technically six star predictions. So let's get into it. The first book I have is Jade City by Fonda Lee. I have heard nothing but amazing things. If you don't know what this book is about, then I don't know where you've been. <laughs> but this book is about um, warriors and mo like gangs and magic. And it just sounds absolutely amazing. So I'm ter like... I keep putting these books off because I'm so scared they're not going to live up to the expectations, but I really, really want to get to this one. So, Jade City. And then we have Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. This book just came out. I have adored everything Abby Jimenez has wrote, written. Part of Your World made my favorites last year, so I'm hoping this one does too. This is... um like a spin-off from that one. It's like her friend. Letters. I don't know. I've heard there's a lot, like a lot, a lot, a lot of people are already loving this. So, I mean, I already have my tabs in here and I can't wait to read it. So hopefully picking that one up soon. A new to me author this year that I shouldn't have been putting off, but I did was Mariana Zapata and this is The Wall of Winnipeg and Me and this is a marriage of convenience, football, romance. Those are all my buzzwords. Mariana Zapata writes a slow burn like no one else I've ever known. So I am so excited to get to this. It's just it's so long. So I gotta gotta make time to get to this one. If you haven't heard of this book, you've probably been living under a rock. <laughs> the Serpent and the Wings of Night by Chris Broadbent. Fantasy romance. I just, I love it so much. And this is, human or vampire, the rules of survival are the same. Never trust, never yield, and always, always guard your heart. I've heard nothing but amazing things about this book. I kind of want to read her other book, um, Daughter of No Worlds, first. But we'll see. The sequel just came out to this, I think, yesterday. And everybody has given it, like, high ratings. I don't think anybody I know has like, rated it less than four stars. So, super excited to get to this one. Another one that's been buzzworthy is Finding 13 by Chloe Walsh. This is a rugby romance, from what I understand. Friends to lovers, abuse, lots of trigger warnings. Um, this font is beyond tiny though. It's a thick, thick book. So, but I've heard people go into a reading slump after reading this. Um, so I'm, I'm really scared because I don't have time for a reading slump. But I'm also so excited to get to this book. So, I've got a few more. This book just came out yesterday and it is one of my most anticipated reads. The Blood Gift by Annie Davenport. I adored the first book. I freaking loved it. And it was a debut. This is a, it's a sci fantasy book about revenge. And misogynistic, like, culture and racism. And, oh, it's so good. If you have not read, um the blood trials you should definitely read it i am so 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 excited to get to this one i can't tell you too much about it because it's obviously a sequel but Ooh, mm, so excited another one that i've been putting off because i'm terrified that like the hype is too much if that makes sense is that looks atlas six by olivia blake dark academia sign me up secrets betrayal seduction power welcome to the alexandrian society First off, beautiful inside. Oh, stunning. We love a good hardback. Um, it's 
magicians that are like pinned against each other and like one of them only so many can go on so one of them has to die i'm assuming i don't know so excited i have the sequel already i probably should stop doing that but yeah and then two more we have a court of mist and fury by sarah j mass i read a court of rings and ruin right akatar akatar two years ago and i adored it and i just heard the books keep getting better and better i have not picked this one up yet and i'm gonna have to reread akatar i'm currently reading the throne of glass series though I'm trying to finish that and then I'll get to this one. But I have a feeling if Miss Sarah is doing what she's doing in Throne of Glass, I'm going to love this one just as much. So I have this one. And finally, I don't think I've heard a single person talk about this book. So I read A Curse of Dark and Lonely and I really enjoyed it. And I just left it as a standalone. I didn't want to continue in the series. That was that. Then I read Defy the Night and Defend the Dawn. I gave both of those books six stars. I adore it. I cannot wait for the next book. So, there's this one. Forging Silver into Stars by Bridget Kimmer. This cover is stunning. I got like the, I pre-ordered it. So it's, it's going to be signed, I think. Yep. Signed and everything. Um... And it's set in the same world as the Curse Breaker series, but it's like a standalone. Four royals, two thrones, one deadly curse. But I just haven't heard anything, but I'm very intrigued because I loved all her books. So if you have read this, please let me know what you think. And tell me which one of these I should make a priority. Obviously, I'm hoping to get to all of them, but we all know TBRs are huge and new books come out all the time. So I hope you have a great day. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye.